You've got questions, we've got answers. Kevin Barnett in the Carbide 3D Studio. Let's jump in on some of the comments and questions you've had on the variety of Shape Oco 5 Pro videos coming out. Let's do it. Number one, so pumped for this. Any estimates on total machine assembly time for a first time CNC user? Zach Ashcroft wants to know. Zach, the answer is about 60 minutes if you've built any one of our previous machines. If you're a newbie, I could see you maybe being pretty diligent and pushing that out to 90, but no more than that. You're gonna love this assembly process. The Y rails pop right out of the box, ready to go. The gantry as well as the Z axis are completely pre-assembled. The main drag chains come pre-wired and the electronics are plug and play. The most time you're gonna spend is assembling the hybrid table. If you own a two by two, you're gonna be making parts well inside of an hour. We have a complete assembly video coming soon, starring your favorite engineer. RocketFast09 says, I'm so tempted, but my garage space is limited. Yeah, we know not everybody has extra car garages, and that includes most of us out here in California. That's why we have the different machine sizes. 4x4, that's going to take up a massive amount of space. 4x2, you can still index plywood through it, but you can store it right up against the wall in your garage. 2x2, two two. now here is a friendly little machine. We're giving you some options here, equip it however you like, but if you want to put plywood through, 4x4, four 4x2, four, four those are the sizes for you. Mark Leger, do you guys do trade-ins? I would love to have that machine. Mark, we don't offer a trade-in program, but you'll find there is a very robust secondary market. You can do it online, list it locally as well. You'll find a buyer for your machine that should give you a substantial leg up towards the Shapeoko Pro 5. John Colgan wants to know, did you say Shapeoko ownership was not a requirement for Carbide Motion as well as Carbide Create? Yep, that's right. You don't have to own a machine to download both of those programs, and you can spend all the time you want getting to know Create and its capability before you ever decide to jump in with an actual machine. Sexy underscore major underscore 2641, do you want sexy time? Tell more hot nuggets at Promote Me Me Sasha, put where now? All right, Sasha, yes to the sexy time, and where do I put my end mill? Shane's Photography. Is that the only place to put the bit setter? It looks like it would be easy to hit the bit setter if I were to surface the wasteboard. Yes, Shane, that's the home of the bit setter, but you'll find with the removal of just two bolts, you can slide them right off of there and go ahead and run your surfacing program. James Bussing says, what about the dust boot? James, sweepy, sweepy, James. I'm sure you two are gonna get along quite well. Sweepy comes with every machine. Tristan says, one day I will get one. Just recently blew all my money on a Shapeoko 3 XL, but hopefully I can eventually make money back and maybe even get a five. Tristan, Shapeokos are money makers, not money takers. This isn't strippers and stakes. You're about to make all of your money back and then some. Connor Babcock, what is the weight limit on the Z? I would be looking to install a home-brewed spindle setup, much more torque than a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, but a little on the heavy side. Connor, I don't know what you have planned. We can't account for all the hypotheticals. We tested the Z. It can easily carry an 80 millimeter water-cooled spindle. So is this your homebrew setup? TSC says, I'm surprised you don't have a 2x4 long Y short X. Stiffness of the 2x2, but with the occasion to do long cuts. Tia, that gantry is not going to deflect from any cutting forces you're going to put on it. We did a ton of analysis on that before putting the machine out. You don't need extra parts, and when it comes to the 4x2 versus 2x4, if it's 4x2, you can still index a sheet of plywood through and cut out flat pack furniture or whatever you want while only having to put up with that two-foot footprint. 4x2, that was the winner. VT win underscore guy, he got the Bill and Ted reference that was in one of the earlier videos and then asked, at Carbide 3D, did I win a Shapeoko Pro? No. MB wants to know, please tell me what table this is sitting on. It's on a Craig 64x64 64 64 modular table system along with the Craig casters and there are three quarter inch plywood sheets on top. You're gonna need two plywood sheets to cover the entire 64x64, 64 64, but that'll leave you some parts for underneath. We'll have a lot more table specs coming up in our next video. Always Smarter asks, what would I buy for the other side of the dust collector? Is that something I get on Amazon? Is it small? Well, always, it depends. You can go with a small shop vac along with a dust deputy. That's probably your smallest footprint overall. Or you can go full dust collection system on the wall. It's really up to you and what you have in your shop or space. That'll do it for now. Keep the good questions coming. We'll see you in the comments below as well as back here in the studio.
I'm gonna go follow up with Sasha.